Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of not all ages, because this is a this is a mature game, very very mature, and welcome to the Catherine playthrough revisited. Uh, before we start, I want to start off with a little story that some people may not even give a fuck about, but I don't really care, right? So, about three years ago, around this exact time, month of October, right? Um, it was the first time I was like, you know what? I should try my hand at YouTube, right? So I did that. And then, uh, basically what happened is that a bunch of shit happened. I lost all the footage. But I was trying to do the Catherine playthrough, and sadly, it never got finished. That playthrough, at this point in time, is still on the channel. I don't know if I'll ever take it down, to be honest. I probably might, if I really feel like it just doesn't belong. Um, but... I lost my train of thought, to be honest. But anyways, I'm here revisiting Catherine with better recording uh, equipment and stuff like that. Because when I first started, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, it's the month of Halloween. Play a spooky games, and, you know, what's more spooky than fucking... Than being in a relationship. Especially with two women. So, right off the bat... Right off the bat, this music that they use for this intro is fucking awesome, by the way. The soundtrack for this game is beautiful. It's delectable. It's, de it's delicious. Um, we're gonna be playing this on normal. Uh, this mode is for experienced players. Yeah, sure, why not? And a cutscene's gonna happen, so I'm gonna shut the fuck up. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Shakespeare, as you like it. sky fills with glamour, a lovely story <clears throat> awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse. Your guide for the night is me. The Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die. In real life. Tonight's story is Catherine, an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain <laughs> curse has a terrifying week. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He's an earnest and kind man. But one day, we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. On top of that, a torrent of sweet seduction swoops down upon him. Mmm. What a playboy, huh? Will he be able to overcome all the blocks in his life? His outcome? Hmm. Depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtain. Now enjoy the show, until we meet again. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 yo,
loud, you made the cancel the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. Code wa gain jeep, so like a dream. Mazaru mix to no corner cream. Tanagaru shikumi wa hen to hen. Shito to no kan ke wa hen to hen. Gain ten to go, musu be ten to ten. Ato wa sense de kimale ume no ume. Left or right, ka ten go say you move the brick. Step up, shite toy de ku trick. Man, you gotta fight for your chick. Demo mo iru kara deki nai pick. Chigan ba nai se kyo dai. Kimi ha se ba kyo dai. It's on the showtime. Nobore de toko ma de nobolo kai. Ate modori wa deki nai kono kokai. Big na house ni big na car. Kanak de mo angai hika kal. Oshitari hitari shite otose. Chojo mezashite yats itome. Alright, now that all those beautiful, beautiful animated cutscenes are out the way, we can start the game! And I'm gonna skip all this tutorial shit because it's annoying every time I play this fucking game. It's always telling me how to play. Like, I'm stupid and I don't know how to play. They should, they should really, like, in every game, every game that's made ever, it should be like, Hey man, do you want the tutorial? And then everyone will do the same thing, which is go to the, go to the yes option. I mean, not the yes option, the no option and say, no, I don't want the tutorial, motherfucker. Does it look like I want a fucking tutorial? Do, does it look like I want you to stop me having fun, man? What the fuck am I doing? Man, Vincent moves really slow in the tutorial because we're not drunk yet. This game has the best system ever where it's, hey man, the more drunk you get, the faster you move. Just like real life. It's amazing. But, uh, for people who are new to Catherine, which at this point I honestly don't know who the fuck would be new to Catherine, because when it came out, it was one of those like kind of sleeper hits. Like at first, it, it was selling okay, and then after that, after that, I guess, I guess a bunch of like let's players and stuff got a hold of the game and was like, "Hey, man, this game is pretty fun." Like, it's a fun little puzzle game, but the story's also fun, too. So then, you had a bunch of people who weren't really into this type of shit start playing the game and stuff, and then it got... Basically, Catherine became, like, a fucking, uh, kind of a cult classic. It has, like, a cult following and shit. Like, I'm one of those people. I'm not gonna lie. I fucking love Catherine. And, uh, at the time Catherine came out, a bunch of people who were, like, who knew anything about Atlas at the time was like, Hey man, you know what I really want? You know what I really want? I want a fucking Persona game. I want a new Persona game. Fuck all this Shin Megami Tensei bullshit. But, we'll talk about that a little later. For now, we're just gonna escape. Into the holy light of justice! Yes, the justice is very good. Man, that's what I love about Vincent. He's kind of like, in the moment, he's kind of a real person where he's like, Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. I can't do this. We got a gold prize. Yeah, man. Look at that. Look at that. It's fucking awesome. I'm great. I'm amazing at this game. I'm gonna start flexing in the mirror and shit. Oh, what a terrible 
dream. code review meeting really no no I'm just uh, just a little under the weather no no it's okay I'll be right there yeah um, sorry Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> mm. uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. In other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been... Hey, change it! The Chief match is on! No! Oh, two beers over here! here. Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know. <laughs> Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it be? I've known you since we were kids, but wow, you. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single, too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. 
It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe we'll all wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning... I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Whoa. Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. But I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I don't want to go home just yet. So? Why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. So, uh, we are here at the Stray Sheep, the first day. You can check your the Stray Sheep is basically your main hub that you're going to have to deal with for this game. There's really no other areas you go to. But for now, we're not going to get too deep into the Stray Sheep. Right now, we're just going to do the basis of the game a little bit. In this game, you'll get text messages from two people, mostly. Mostly, I say mostly. Some sometimes you get it from other people, and other times you get other messages that don't really do anything. But when you get messages, it's always good to read them, first of all, and reply to them. Whenever you get a message, do that first and foremost because sometimes you can lock yourself out of messages if you don't do it. So, we got one from Catherine, Vincent's girlfriend. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some old friends. It's surprising. Most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. So, in this game, when you reply to your messages and shit, you're going to have a little karma, uh, karma? karma meter, which is like chaotic or lawful, basically. And it's like good or bad, which at the same... Like, when you think about it, good or bad doesn't really fucking do anything. It just affects what ending you get. I mean, it doesn't really have to be good or bad. One can just be red and blue. Like, there's like you're not a bad person for going either way. So don't think that you're gonna don't think that if you go all the way in the red, you're gonna get the bad ending or anything like that. You're just gonna get a different ending. Um. Uh, right now in this playthrough, I'm not going for any particular ending. I'm just gonna, you know, play as normal. So, uh, does it bother you? Or about it sometimes too? We should work at our own pace. Maybe we should talk about this. Good night. Drive home safe, okay? I like that. That's a nice message. I'm going to do that. And there's a little karma meter. Uh, to all customers, uh, this is like tutorial shit. We don't... I'm just clicking on it to get it out of my, uh, my inventory. When certain word now the game's going to tell you what I just told you. Because it's the it never axes you if you want to fucking look at tutorials. And in the bar, you can also, you know, do the obvious thing. Take some drinks. And when you do that, Vincent will not reminisce. What's the word I'm looking for? He'll think about his situations. Speaking about thinking about his situations, earlier there was the cutscene where uh, he's talking with Catherine. And he's like, damn, how, how long has it been? And he totally avoids the question. That cutscene basically explains what type of character uh, Vincent is. Vincent is a fucking... He is one of those characters where... Where the moment push comes to shove, he kind of fumbles his way, fumble his way past it, you know? Uh, this is all rewards for you done it again, good, wait, what? Hold up. Uh, rewards, stuff on track, wait, what? Okay.
Okay, yeah, no. Okay, these are just like, oh yeah, you played it back. Um, those messages are like, oh yeah, you got a reward. By the way, we recognize you already have this on a different save file. Um, what was I gonna say? I keep saying um a lot. I gotta stop doing that. I know that gets annoying after some time. Uh, what I was saying was, well, we got another message from Catherine. Are you out at the stray sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Jeez, take it easy. Guilty as charged. I'll make sure I don't drink enough to get a hangover. I'll be okay. I'm sticking to Cooper Libres. Take care of yourself. There you go. I'm a good guy. Yeah, so Vincent kind of fumbles his way around things. He's not one to kind of... It, it sets the basis up for his character where it's like, Hey, Vincent's not this brightest guy where he he should take the fucking... The problem head on. He's gonna just try his best to avoid it and live an easy life to go to the next scene without so now the game's telling me hey man have you saved do you want to save i'm like yes i want to save by the way i'm playing this game on an account that i've never played before i never played this game on this account before which i don't know why that's pretty weird to me so you're gonna see some trophies pop up here and there but trust me i know what i'm doing in the game i'm not this isn't my first time Nightmare of the second day. Uh, time to continue our tutorials. Our beautiful, lovely tutorials that the game, for some reason, thinks that we need. Look at all these sheeps. Beautiful sheeps. Bob, Bob, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three tons full. Stage 2 Prison of Despair. Man, reminds me of a certain game with a lot of despair in it. Mm, certain, uh,. Certain Danganronpa? Huh. Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? Was that the Alright, uh... Then... Fucking, I don't know why I pressed that button. I didn't mean to. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Playing with the menu. Alright, so... Uh... I keep, I keep stuttering on my words. I'm trying to, like, find out what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to talk, guys. It's hard. It's hard. I'm playing a video game, talking at the same time. I'm explaining things. And then I become super quiet. <laughs> because I concentrate. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so, early on in this game, these, uh, what am I doing? These, uh, beautiful... Alright, I got it! These beautiful puzzles are gonna be fairly easy, but later on there's gonna be some really cheap bullshit that they throw at you. Not super unfair, but I mean unfair to me. That's what I think. Because game be an asshole sometimes, because that's what it likes to do. It likes to fuck your day up. Uh but I will not let that defeat me. This game will not defeat me. I'm strong. Like a like a mountain lion. There's no limit. Like a mountain sheep. Mountain goat. So, as you're climbing, you're gonna run into some coins. Coins are guess what they are. They're currency. You're gonna you're gonna want those if you're gonna buy items. Items to help you later on through your through your climbing adventure. Uh it also ups your score, which you get nice rewards at the uh at the uh stray sheep for that. I think I fucked up. Did I fuck up already? Eh, don't matter. Don't matter, we made it! I made it! 
grab that. It's always a nice, it's always a nice feeling when, when the game's like, hey man, you're there. All you gotta do is just press the X button, and you're good. You're golden. You're amazing. You're Persona 4 golden. Anyways. Yeah, so, uh, whatever score you get determines what trophy you get. You know, bronze, silver, gold. You're always gonna want to aim for the gold if you really care about unlocking little things. Which is basically nothing but, like, songs for you to listen to at the Stray Sheep while you're spending your time there. Which, me personally, I like doing that because I like the ability to change my music when I'm playing a fucking game. It's fun. Looks like you survived. Who are you? The sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is the sheep but me. Recognize that voice? Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. Take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! You can't be serious. So, welcome to the dreamscape. Fuck you, game. Don't give me tutorials after a character says I'm gonna be on my own. So, we're over here in the dream, the nightmares, the beautiful, the place where, where life Whereas life is nice and, and awesome and great. Actually, it's not. It sucks. Um, I keep saying um. God damn it. I should, I should, I should replace the word um with like. Every time I'm like, like, like. Mm hmm. Anyways, you're going to be here. First of all, you're going to see some sheeps. You're going to see all these beautiful sheeps. Next time. And one of the things that this game doesn't quite explain is that, well, okay, first, what I'm going to say is... Guess what? Every here, everybody in here is a real person. They're all men. I know, it's pretty uh, sausage fest up in here. But they all appear to sheep to you. To the person in the dream, you're the only one that's not a sheep. And everyone appears as sheep. But you also appear sheep to everyone else, and they themselves aren't sheep. You understand that? Okay, good. I know it sounds confusing. Just stick with me for a little bit. So, Vincent appears as a sheep with an afro. I guess you can call this an afro. His hair is kind of permed or whatever. And, uh... You're going to see some sheep with some distinct figures over here. And you're going to want to, like, talk to them. I don't need to talk to them about techniques. I don't think you're going to do that. But every time you're in the dream, you just want to check the sheep who have, like, distinct features. Whether they be clothing, glasses, a hat, a coat, whatever, a tie, something like that. Um, shit, I did it again. I said, um, again. It's bad habit. Bad habit. Bad habit. I should, like, slap myself on the fucking wrist every time I say that word. So you're gonna want to talk to them. Because, because this game, this game, it basically has social links. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It has social links, but your social links, depending on what you do. There's someone in there, right? Is there someone in there? Why don't you take a seat? Alright, dickhead. Yeah, talk to me like that. By the way, over here, this picture is, uh, Vincent on a crucifix. It's cool. <sighs> Um, so, what was I saying? I was saying, um, that's what I was doing. Damn it. What I was saying was, when you're in the dream, what the guy said was right. If you fall, you die. You die in the dream, you die in real life. The only problem with that is that everyone has these dreams. You're going to see people in the, stri in, in the bar called the Stray Sheep. You're going to see people in there who have all the same, like, distinct uh, details and traits as some of the sheep in the nightmare. Guess what? Those people are in the nightmare with you. The only problem is, this game doesn't really explain it, when you leave the nightmare, when you leave the nightmare, nobody remembers what happens. 
So in the daytime, everyone's just like, man, I had a bad dream. I don't even, what? What the hell is this? Anyways, over here, you're going to have choices when you go into the confessional. They're going to give you life choices. I don't know if the questions are the fucking same all the time. Because sometimes I see, I guess it depends on what you answered last time. So right here, we have this life end or begin at marriage. Well, me personally, I think it begins. Although a lot of people would say it ends. I personally think it begins at marriage. So that's your choice. Uh, you're gonna have a little karma change and stuff like that, but, but again, don't worry. You're not, you're not gonna have the bad ending or anything like that. You're just gonna have a ending, depending on how much like karma you have and stuff like that and what you did in the game and all bullshit, right? So, over here, the mysterious voice, which I do not know the name of this person. I. Like, I honestly don't know the name of the person. I know they're like a god or something. Might be like Cupid or some shit. I'm not sure. But they're like, hey man, you're in this dream, this nightmare, this hellscape. Guess what? Someone put you in here. It's someone that you know in real life. So, every time you answer a question at the cathedral, not cathedral, at the confessional, we get this nice little shot of what people answered, and I get to judge them. Look at all these bitches. All these bitches that are like, life ends at marriage. Like, go fuck yourself. So, this is player's first time data, which, at the same time, I don't know if I should really believe it, because this game really didn't get popular until after a bunch of Let's Players played the fucking game. So, you know what I mean? Like, fucking, god damn it, I hate that shit. So people, by the time people played this game they for the first time, they already saw, like, their endings and shit. So I'm not sure... If looking at the first time, uh, the first time results is really, is really, like, accurate, but I mean, hey, it's there, and I get to judge people, and I like judging people, as long as it's not, as long as I don't make somebody fucking, like, kill themselves or something, I mean, like, hey, man, took a dark turn right there, let's talk about suicide for a while, uh, so we're just gonna climb up here, you're gonna see my mad climbing skills, the controls feel fucking delayed as fuck because Vincent isn't drunk enough for me. Your score is all He's not at like three like near near the little uh right, I got it. Like you see you see like the map right there on the bottom left side of it. Fuck you sheep, get out of my way. On the bottom left side of it, can you please move? Edge. Fucking bitch, move! Right. Damn it. Edge. You're in the way. You're not helping me. You're not helping anybody. If you are to do, you can crush yourself. That's cool. Edge. Huh? Maybe I should. There we go. Edge. Edge. Right. Edge. Sorry, I had like a, I had like a real moment there. Oh, come on, you fucking cheap bastard! They're all trying to climb. This is a dog. Anyway. You sheep bastard. Fucking ruining. Ruining my plans. Edge. Get out of my way. Edge. Sheep. Oh, come on. I don't need the checkpoint. I don't need it. I'm a pro. I'm a master at this. Look how masterful I am. Super masterful. So masterful that I fucked up. But I fixed it. You see that? Now the sheep is stuck down there. That's what you get for being a dickhead. I don't know. All right. So like I was saying, I don't even know if I said it all right. Um, bottom left, next to the little map, you're gonna see. Uh, I can't move those. Uh, the boxes with the little faces on it, you can't fucking move those. You can move the black boxes, but it takes slow. It takes slow? That doesn't make sense. It takes time. But hey, we made it. Look at that. Cause I'm good at this game. Anyways, uh, the beer icons, bottom left, if that's full all the way up, that's like your max speed that you can go to. To fill that up, to fill that up, to fill that up, you have to drink at the Stray Sheep, which, guess what, you should always do that because it doesn't cost you anything to drink at the Stray Sheep. I have a silver? Impressive. Why the fuck? Motherfucker. I got a silver on that, what the hell? I'm sorry. I cannot stand for that. That's bullshit. 
I think that's the first time I ever got in a silver on the fucking, like, third level. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep, they're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But, I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Hey, wait! Uh, uh, right. <laughs>